Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you've been with me for the last couple of weeks, you know I've been talking about story ideas and this week is going to be no different. So, I've been talking about that question on how to get story ideas for your novel, aka that age-old question of where do you get your ideas from. Now, the last two weeks I have focused on brainstorming. So, I did brainstorming in general and then I did brainstorming on a more specific level of generating, um, getting ideas for your story. So, this week... I'm I want to focus on how to find story ideas to begin with for your novel because it's all right brainstorming but if you need a, a brand new story where are you going to get that from and that's what I'm going to focus on this week but what I'm also going to talk about today will also help you if you are stuck in your novel because I have had to use these techniques this week because believe me I have been stuck for the last couple of weeks I've been struggling with my novel especially to figure out the ending for it so using these techniques has really helped me and what I find is with any writer I think the most challenging aspect of the writing journey is coming up with new fresh and compelling ideas and I think it can be so super frustrating if you ever reach that place where you just feel like you've hit a creative wall which is what I actually hit this week and I think we we all get there at some point and I will probably get there again and it happens and for me it can leave me questioning my authenticity as a writer like should I be doing this is this thing for me am I actually cut out to be a writer because it just feels like my brain goes goes blank and I have no idea what I'm going to write about. So this is what I want to talk about today is basically how to generate story ideas from the ground up or necessary or not necessarily that how to deal with your story when you're stuck and you need new ideas you know maybe you run out of steam with it and you just need to come up with some story ideas. So I have five tips for you today with how to generate story ideas and my first one and I did mention it in one of my brainstorming videos is playing the what if game and the what if game is is a powerful tool used by writers to generate new ideas. It involves taking familiar situations and asking yourself what if such and such happened. So for example you might ask what if a school student suddenly discovered how to time travel or what if a woman woke up with no memory of who she was, where she was or how she got there. You know these are just the what if things we can ask ourselves. You can even ask yourself what if in your story so especially if you're stuck like what if such and such happened? Where would that take your characters but for a generating a story idea you can there are so many what if questions you can use and for me I think the what if thing is just an excellent way to come up with fresh ideas and it kind of makes you think outside the box and you, you can take other stories I don't know if you've seen that they have like the Disney villain stories you've got the Maleficent story but they also have them as books and I think there's the Cruella film as well isn't there so it's what if the story was told from the villain's perspective and that is a wonderful twist twist on these stories that we know so if you've got you know Maleficent so she's from Sleeping Beauty what's the story behind what caused her to do what she did what you know what if we told it from that story and so you know even look at like the likes of Harry Potter what if the story was told from Voldemort's perspective what kind of story would we get then because it would be totally different to the one we know now even though the events would be the same and I just think playing the what if game in so many different variations of it is such an amazing thing to do because because it can take you down different rabbit holes and off in so many different directions and I think I love the what ifs game because it kind of like lets you think of original stories or as original as you're going to get because no one's story is truly original really and it just means that you can take something familiar and then add a twist to it by asking that what if. The second one is using observation. Now observation is also a wonderful tool. It's probably a good one for mixing with the what if versions. Several years ago like I'm talking two decades ago I'd work in a supermarket and you know just on the checkout and I used to love to kind of imagine what the customers lives were like based on what they bought. I, I I always remember one who'd like but he just had a whole conveyor belt full of you know these ready meals that you put in the microwave and it came to my mind or well, what if he was keeping someone in the basement and that was how he was feeding them and that's just how my story works my brain works but that's how a writer's brain does work outside if you observe people outside and try to watch what they're doing see if you can create a story from them who are they who would they be in your book even listen to what they're talking about you know especially if they're having a really in-depth conversation listen to that conversation as obviously as well as you can and see where that takes you with your story. Observing is such a wonderful place to generate ideas especially if you are in 
unfamiliar places or out in the public because there's loads of people observing things and not just people but things is also a good way of getting like the setting and stuff for your story i live near the sea oh. sorry about the dog i live near the sea so there is the beach and that can generate a lot of story just a story background and setting because I can go down there and observe it and describe it and even come up with story ideas from that so observation is a really good one as well. Number three is using writing prompts. This is probably another favourite of mine I mean they're all kind of favourites and I've used them for various things but using prompts is a really cool one and they can be just a great way to generate stories, brand new stories especially and there are so many websites and books out there that will give you writing prompts just go and do a search online and you'll come up with hundreds hundreds of them and prompts can take many forms they can be like a single word a complete sentence a picture a sound it doesn't matter they can be humorous or sad they can cover such a multitude of genres one of my favorite things for prompts is they can jump start your creativity for when you are stuck with your story or when you just feel in a creative rut because they can just get you going and they can also break you out of your usual writing patterns and encourage you to explore new ideas and new perspectives and I also find that when you're using writing prompts it's so important to kind of keep an open mind and not judge your writing and just let it flow and follow it where it needs to go kind of be curious with your writing when using a writing prompt and if I use a writing prompt it's usually only to kind of get me in the right frame of mind for writing because I'll sit down every day and write but not every day am I in the mood to write so if I just play around with a writing prompt and you know, I probably only write three, four hundred words. It's enough to get me in that creative flow and to start getting ideas for what I'm writing in my story. But with writing prompts, you know, don't be afraid to let your imagination just run wild. And you know, writing prompts could be things like a man finds he has the ability to go into people's dreams, or a scientist creates a machine that can talk to the dead, or maybe a group of teenagers go into the woods for a camping trip and something's not quite right. Those kind of prompts for me would immediately set pictures off in my head and lead me down into story ideas and especially if I wanted something new and fresh those do you see those kind of things would just set me off onto the path and I might not even write that story but it would set my imagination off into the right place so writing prompts, prompts are wonderful. The fourth way is actually using your own experience and I suppose this is where the write what you know comes into it. Whether we realise it or not every single person has a whole bank of stories in our heads. We have experience, we've lived through things, we've, we've laughed, we've cried, we've had sad moments, happy moments. We've all been through things whether they are good or bad and because of those things we have experience of things and everyone's experience of things are also different and kind of to use your own experience to kind of come up with a story idea it's putting a new perspective on it maybe just drawing from the emotion or thinking about who was there in that experience with you and kind of writing that obviously you're not going to name people you know and document it like a diary but you can use it for inspiration for your story especially if the situation had high emotions whether those were good or bad and it doesn't even need to be big things it can be a random conversation you had with a stranger last week while sitting on the train that's an experience you know what they were talking about you could pull a character from that person you could pull the whole situation from that you know I, and I've had that where I've sat on a train a few years ago and I was talking to a, a guy who turns out he was on day release from the prison and he was actually telling me about what he'd done and it was very it was a very good conversation but there was so many stories I could have pulled from that just that little bit of conversation I had with him of who he was you know you could turn it into maybe he's escaped maybe he was wrongfully accused maybe you write a story about him starting his life again there's there's just so much like that from your own experience where you could just go at it from so many different angles and the other one is if you've had big experiences you can always infuse your characters with those so maybe you've lost a loved one so you have it that your character's lost a loved one and you can draw on your experiences and your emotions of that situation when you live through it to kind of make your character more authentic you can take your character down a different path that you went on another good way to come up with new story ideas is to 
adapt a story that already exists. Could be a popular one, could be just one you love. I'm not talking about copying it, I'm talking about putting your own spin on things. And I talked about this a moment ago with uh, Maleficent and talk and going from the villain's perspective. That is a retelling of a story but from another character. So you could do that kind of thing. But for example, you could take a familiar story and a very famous story and then put your own spin on it. Think about how many versions there are of the Cinderella story. I have no idea how many there are. There's tons of them and they all have their own little spin to them and so what would stop you from doing that you know maybe you could, cinderella's always set in the past what it was what if it was set in modern day kind of thing and you can take any of these stories robin hood jack and the beanstalk cinderella little red riding hood you know what if little red riding hood was a paranormal romance shifter story and you adapted it to into that and you don't when you're doing a retelling you don't necessarily have to follow the exact plot you can make your own changes and put twists on it the thing be careful though because you do have to have it recognisable to the readers because they're reading it because they love the original and they want to see your focus on it. So don't stray too much from the path but you do have a little bit of creative licence with it. And it could just be that you added a romance story to Little Red Riding Hood or you changed something in Cinderella. I don't, I don't really know. For example, you could explore themes of identity, coming of age, self-discovery to Cinderella. It could be any retail it any way you want just try and honor the original story as you go that's all i would be saying on that one basically you're just adapting the story and putting your own style on it while respecting the story that's already been before so i hope these five tips were helpful for you in coming up with new and interesting story ideas and i hope the several techniques and strategies will help you especially if you get stuck like i did this week whether it's brainstorming observation asking the what if question or adapting an old story there are so many ways for generating story ideas so i say to you if you're still struggling don't give up generating story ideas is meant to be fun and just explore different methods and you should eventually find one that works for you for now i am going to head off and leave this with you and i hope it's helped and i hope you have a great week and i shall see you next time oh before i go don't forget to you know the usual don't forget to give this video a like smash that notification bell give this channel a subscribe thanks for watching bye